Electronic press kits, also known as EPKs. I wanna talk about how to build one, what you need in it, and why you need it, whether it's for festivals, publicity, labels, whoever you need to send it to. I'm gonna share exactly what you need to put in it. And if you stay to the end, I'm also gonna show you how to write your bio and give you an example of mine that you can copy and model that I paid $1,000 for for a bio writer. So you can copy and model that, but you gotta stay to the end. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So what do you need in a EPK? Number one, you do need a bio. You need your photos, proper photos, press photos, whether that's like, you know, out in the city, in the studio, live in concert. I would say as far as you wanna have press and you wanna have live in concert, but they're gonna want that photo, why? To maybe put on a poster, to promote whatever the event is, or to talk about you when they're pitching you to TV and film, or whoever you're sending your EPK, all these things need to be in there. So I would have two press photos, like in the studio, maybe two out, outside somewhere, and then maybe two or three live in concert. You're also gonna need a music video, would be good. You can't try. a live in concert cut to your song so that it sounds really, really good. Live footage is really important. And I'm gonna show you how you can put that into an EPK video. At the end of this, I'm gonna go through my EPK video and show you. And of course, you wanna have your songs, all right? You wanna have your two to three best songs. Someone was sending me something today because we're gonna have a featured artist and they gave us two songs of theirs on a page where I could just listen to it and check it out. Well, this is the same thing with you. You wanna have links to your music so that they can check it out and see what you've got. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to have is your logo. Professional logo done. All these things in one Dropbox folder or on one website where they can download all of these things. And I'm fine with just putting it all in one folder. Have one folder named bio, photos, music videos, songs, logo. You know what I mean? Like that that's what you need, right? For, for your EPK. But it's more than that. Let's watch my EPK and I'm gonna go through it step by step with you so that you can copy and model it. And as you can see, it sparks off with my logo manifest an expression of you know my beliefs or okay you can hear fans screaming in the background social proof that's very important already i've got two time juno award nominee i need to update that to four times but again social proof again ideas a way to get a message across a way to get emotion across to reach and touch people that was just an interview on top of uh, a rooftop in Japan. Set yourself up and do an interview. Get someone to interview you and you and you shoot it really professional for B-roll footage. Okay, over a thousand shows rocked, over 10 countries. And of course, I'm cutting to a, a, a really good show, okay? Trying to cut to my best footage. So that's why sometimes you gotta pay someone to come and film you. B-roll, fans, okay, 160,000 records sold worldwide, again, more social proof, and these are things that you would put in your bio, I've just got it all in one video, so it just showcases everything. Really important to show fans, okay, he's got a fan base. Okay, he can obviously perform, and then we threw in like a testimonial from someone who said something nice about me. Okay, interviews, obviously he can handle himself in an interview, and then it's just really more, more B-roll. Rocking out, okay, this guy can obviously put on a show, there's more testimonials that just kind of float in and out, and so that would be what you would do if you were to make a video, is to float in and out, you know, just different testimonials, me hanging out with the band, hanging out with more fans, nominated, manifest for artist of the month, I don't know who was that, but again, just more and more social proof, right? And these are all things that you would normally put in your body back to back number one rock singles okay any radio success any awards that you can highlight is super super important and then it just kind of ended off with them chanting okay and so i think my buddy what he did was he just recorded this and just took a bunch of footage it's only a minute and 40 seconds long it doesn't have to be crazy so as promised i wanted to show you a bio okay and again here's another logo we have and i'll put a link to this so that you can just download this for free if that helps, but I just want to kind of just read it to you, not to read you my bio, but just to show you some of the stuff that we did. So Manifest is a barrier-breaking singer, songwriter, rapper, author, and skater, okay? 
I think that's too many things, just like whatever. He effortlessly merges rock, rap, and pop throughout his music, carefully assembling experiences and compelling inspirations that speak to a wide variety of fans across the globe. His unique style has garnered him notable achievements such as the Juno nominations, Dove nominations, GM awards. So figure out what you have. I don't care if it's a local thing, a newspaper, whatever you've got. Put it in there. His music has been featured in the NFL, video games, throughout television, Knight Rider, One Tree Hill. So now I'm talking about the TV film placements, his intelligent and contagious music. You know, that's to kind of say that I'm conscious and instead of saying Christian, I think they wanted to keep it more open. Um, he sold over a million albums worldwide and has brought him to perform over a thousand shows. So now we'd probably say something. He's got over a million monthly listeners on Spotify or this many YouTube videos or whatever, right? And then we go into talking about the record where this is where you introduce like whatever your latest record is. You know, we're releasing his eighth studio album. It could be your first or your debut album, right? Or debut single um, on this Album Manifest brought in longtime friend and Grammy Award winning producer Adam Messenger. So again, I'm trying to tap into somebody else's social proof here and another winning award winning producer. Okay. Stones will be a rock record, said Manifest. Throughout the album, I explore how things are thrown in our past. Again, they always love to have a quote of you, like you saying something about the record. Every bio writer that I've ever worked with has always asked me for a quote, and so that's my quote. Manifest just got off the road, opening for Scott Stapp from Creed. I don't know why they didn't put Creed in here, because Creed is a bigger name than Scott Stapp, and will be touring with Adelitis Way in 2017. Known for his high energy performances. So what are you known for? What can you brag about? Manifest has shared the stage with the likes of P.O.D., Scott Stapp, Flyleaf, Thousand Foot Crutch, and Skillet. So who have you shared the stage with? Even if it was a festival where you performed earlier in the day, tap into whatever social proof you can, whatever festivals you can. I'm surprised we didn't talk about more about the festivals that I'd played at, whether it's NXNE, Meet Em in France, Singapore, whatever, right? Um, the organic relationship Manifest has with his fans has fed to much success. Anyways, whatever, 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 that's all fine. Um... Again, the point is you want to highlight stuff, get someone to kind of write the, the cool kind of indie kind of stuff where it's like he effortlessly merges rock and rap throughout his music. What do you effortlessly merge in your music or do and think about some words? I'll put a link um, below this so you can just maybe I'll just copy and paste this below the YouTube video. Just do me a big favor and hit like and subscribe to this channel for more stuff. And one last thing I want to give you guys, go to 10 Extra Fan Base Live Challenge so that I can coach you one-on-one. -on -one. Join the challenge here. Just put your name and info there, and I will be coaching you for five days straight. Get a VIP ticket so you can ask me questions directly. I don't know your story, but there's one thing I do know about your story, about everyone's. It's not done yet, because you're still here. You're still writing it.